Hello and welcome to another video. It feels like a long time since I've sat down and actually just like spoke to the camera so hey queens. Um, hope everyone is doing great. Um, what are we here for? Um, so today we are doing another get ready with me because I thought I haven't sat down for a while. I'm excited to just put a little bit of makeup on this stressed spotty face and just chill out with you guys and just get some makeup on and feel confident queen in myself so that's what we're doing today uh, I've had a glass of wine so if things don't make sense it's not my fault but yeah I'm just here with another get ready a bit of a catch up on my life what I've been up to how I'm feeling so it's getting to that last point of uni now it's getting stressful and I mean stressful like um I went home for the weekend and when I came back I was like, I cried at the train station. I was like, oh, I don't want to go back to uni. Um, because this week was a really important week, it, we had a thing called Scratch. Whoa, that made my face red, didn't it? Woo! Now, Scratch is where we were given the task of creating a 20 minute dance or performance piece um, for this week. So we've been given about four weeks to do this which is like not really that much time to like develop ideas like move on stuff um so for i need to like explain it it's really hard so for my final thing at uni my 40 module 40 credit module of uni it's called lift off now lift off is you make a 20 minute piece it's mainly dance so 20 minute piece and you write 4,000 words but obviously the the module isn't over yet but we had to make 20 minutes so like halfway through the module and in Scratch everyone in your class watches and your tutors and that's where you get like feedback on it they tell you whether it's working or not so obviously like I was a little bit stressed for this um mine isn't a dance piece which is a bit different um it doesn't have to be mine is more like it is dance there's dancing in it but it's more like a character thing so like through the years I've done this Russian character who wears a black she doesn't wear a wig but I wear a short black wig and um basically just shows how amazing she is the character not me and that's what i'm doing my piece about i've added more people into it over the years so last year we had to do a five minute solo so i did her from five minute solo and then i have added on it this year by adding other characters into it who are in Vol it's called volga in volga's show so with this like we take we take the mick out of dancing sometimes take the mick out of some of the tutors so obviously that can get a bit like if that's not funny enough or you take it the wrong way it can be like offensive or boring or predictable so i was really nervous about this week um, but it actually went really well everyone was laughing i got really good feedback so that's one like oh it's fine i'm on the right track so i just need to add on like find new stuff to do fun stuff so that's fun that i am absolutely happy with but there's six thousand uh so i've got six thousand words to write and that's kind of our like dissertation module um it's not a dissertation because it's obviously not ten thousand words but that's what i'm doing at the moment and do you know what it's proving difficult i can i can chat shit don't get me wrong i can talk for days that's why i've done quite well in like we do these things called vivers which is like a talking assessment honey i can talk for days so I, I can i can do quite well in them essays i feel like they can catch you out i've wrote about three thousand words and i'm just at the point where i'm like i don't know if i can chat this much shit anymore but that's that's where i'm at at the moment got another two weeks to do that which is a bit a bit scary but still time i've got the full week this week we've all cancelled our rehearsals this week we've gone no we'll all have a week just to do the work actually i think i've got a week a week and a few days i don't know let's not think about it right now it's saturday today i didn't want to do any today but i'm feeling a bit bad about not doing any work but it's a saturday come on i need to rest also i don't really know what look i'm going for so we'll see how this turns out I don't know if I want it quite natural or if I want to do like a full shadow because I haven't worn makeup in a long time and I really fancy just kind of going crazy and just slapping loads on like I'm gonna put a lash on like 
So basically, I'm only going for a few drinks with James. Like, we just want to get out of the house. We've been in the house all week. Not all week, all day. So we were like, let's just go out for a few drinks tonight. We don't have the most money at the moment, but we were like, come on, we can afford a drink or two. So that's what we're doing. And that should be really good fun. I've just really blocked the front of my eyebrow. Whoa. These need dyeing wax. Oh, I am in need. I am in desperate need of like a full glam makeover. I need, I want my nails doing that. A really nice length at the moment, apart from that one. But a really nice length to get gels. Ooh. So I could get some, I want some gels on, but obviously I can't if I'm doing a performance. My eyebrows need dyeing waxing because they're just out of my control. My hair needs a chop because it's like, um, really ratty at the end and I want it nice and healthy I want that's it just eyebrows hair and nails doing and then I'll feel put together again I feel like when I have my nails done I feel put together I'm like this you'll notice when I have my nails done I'll be like hello everyone welcome to the show because I just think it really just makes you feel together even in a pic when you've got like your hand on your hip I just think wow I love a good nail Fun fact, I've actually never had acrylic, acrylic nails. And the story behind that is, the first time I've been going to the same nail artist for, I can't even tell you how many years now. I think I started, oh, I couldn't even tell you. It could be literally like five or six years now. Well, I had it for prom, so where was prom? I was definitely going to, before, to her before prom. So if that was year 11, year college one, college two, uni, 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 that's six years just at the moment and I'm sure I was going to her before that so I've been going to her for more than six years now and for prom I was like oh yeah I want to get acrylics blah 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 she was like no I was like oh she was like your nails are too nice and I'm not ruining them with acrylics and I was like wow okay so I've never had them and I feel like it saved me a lot of money because obviously it's a bit more expensive to get acrylics on and I really like my own nails now because obviously I just get the gel on them. It just makes them grow. I quite like the squareness. And they're not like too long that I'm struggling to do anything. And then they're not going to snap. And if they do snap, I can cut it down. But I don't know how acrylics work. You can obviously cut acrylics down. But they're my nails, you know? So I feel like that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm glad she said that to me all them years ago. Because it's got me out of a very... It's not put me in a very bad habit. If you get what I mean. It's not... I'm not in the swing of getting acrylics to be like yeah I want acrylics whereas I have a friend at uni who tried not having acrylics and was literally like I can't do this <laughs> and I was like honey this is my life right minutes in and I've done my brows so let's get hurrying it up let's hate to look glam not even glam just like a bit nicer than this Obviously we sweat every day so we look greasy and at, at the end of class you always look like you've got more spots that's just so annoying but yeah uni gets stressful like don't let anyone tell you it's easy because it's actually not like i don't know about other courses because obviously we're in every day as well i know some courses aren't but obviously they've still got a lot of workload because like it's all good and well saying oh yeah i've got a six hour word essay yeah but you spend two weeks doing research on top of that it's not just the 6,000 words, uh, it's not just the 6,000 words, it's everything that goes into it as well, so you've got to put that into consideration. So I've got about two weeks left of that and it's hilarious because everyone is just like, we don't know if we're going to get this done in time if I'm being honest, like, I, re I think I will but I'm, I'm nervous, we're aiming for the lowest amount because Like, even just, like, doing the 6,000 words and stuff, like, you see people in the older years doing it and you're like, oh, I'll feel ready when I get there. And you actually don't. Like, I do not feel ready for this. I don't feel old enough to be out of college, probably. I'm still in mature. Like, I need to grow up. I'm going quite cash tonight because we we're only going out for a few drinks, but I really just fancy putting a little bit of makeup on. And dressing up, like, not dressing up, but, like, going quite cash. Like, you know when people look gorgeous and you're like, they haven't even tried. They've just thrown that outfit on and look amazing. That's how I want to look tonight. Like, I'm going to wear like my docks and a, like a long dress. And I want people to be like, oh, she looks cool. And she hasn't, she hasn't even tried. We're not, honestly, I've tried my hardest. I really have. So that's the vibe. Getting a big crease in my head from all my ex expressions. Expressions. 
I'll do with more on the nose. I really want to try so much makeup at the moment, but I just don't have the dollars for that. You know, like, I really want to try Tarte Tape Shape. Tarte Tape Tape? Tarte Shape Tape? Tape Shape? I don't know. I really want to try that. Obviously, you can, I think you can only buy it in the US, but you can order it online. I don't have the dollars for that. Also, I'm trying to get new um, outfits together for New York because I'm going to New York at some point this summer. We were going to book... I cannot speak today. Um, we were going to book it, but obviously there's a lot going on at the moment, so we're just holding back on that for a bit. But I really want, like, a good set of outfits for when we go. Like, really summer vibes. I've got an album on my phone called Summer... Um, called, like, Summer summer Vibes or something, or Holiday Vibes. I'm really just wanting like loads of because obviously I'm going to Marbella as well with my family and I'm really just wanting loads of like beach looks like with palm trees in the background and then if we go to New York like city vibes with my blazers on and looking really cool so I really want to actually like put myself together and I need to sell or donate so many clothes like at the moment there's just too much I just don't wear do you have a look through everything like I feel like I have no clothes I'm looking up in my drawers and they're full why? Why are they full? And I wear about two pieces of it. I don't know why I get... But then, like, you go to throw it out and you're like... Oh, but I might wear that. You haven't worn it in 12 years. Throw it out. That's what I need to do. Also, I left my translucent shiny powder from Laura Mercier at home for when I visited. So that's cute. So I'm just going to have to powder with whatever's in this. Which is not the greatest, is it? But we sometimes you just got to work with what you got. Did I tell you that when I went home and I went out with Rachel, I left so much makeup here. I didn't have any eyebrow stuff, so I did my eyebrows with eyeshadow. Didn't take any eyeliner, didn't take any lashes, didn't take any glue, didn't take, um, well, ha just basically half of my... I didn't take a powder brush. So I, had to... I didn't take a foundation brush. I was doing my foundation with this. How disgusting is that? So I was really improvising at home, but it actually turned out okay. And Rachel lent me some lashes, which was really super nice of her but now i've left my thingy at home so that's not cute i left it i don't even know when i'm gonna get that back either and i'm doing my face first like i feel like these days i just don't know how to do makeup anymore i wear it so i don't wear it that often like because i wear it so little i just forget how to do it these days and just hope for the best but you know me nighttime makeup is my thing because as soon as that light goes off who is gonna know? Like, boom. No bronzer, bronzer. You can slightly tell, but no one is gonna know how you look. And that's what I love about nighttime. Let's get rid of that double chin. Look, boom. Like, already, face is a different shape. And I just, oh. sometimes I just feel so much more confident with a bit of makeup on. I don't understand. Well, not that I don't understand. People who put on makeup every day they are amazing to me because I tell you what, I could not, like, I think I just take too long because I, I just mess about and I watch videos normally. What does everyone do? Like, I know a lot of people listen to music as they get ready. I don't. I get my laptop out and I watch videos and I think that's why I take longer because I just mess around watching them. Oh my God. I've only got 15 minutes left on my camera. Oh no, on the SD card. So that means I'm going to have to do my makeup in, 15, in the next 15 minutes. Let's go, people. Woo! Oh, I can feel the hair on my face again. That's not cute, that's not cute. Where's that at? Get it off, get it off. It's there. Oh, can you see that? No, there's absolutely no way. Oh, that was tickling me really bad. Ooh. Let's go for a pink blush. Sometimes I feel, I feel fun. Love a pink blush. I'm more of it, you know I'm a peach girl, but let's set it up. I don't know what I'm doing on the eyes yet, I need to think about that. I might just do like a nice, I might do a nice like champagne, champagne, and then again, still don't have eyeliner, lost it. So I'm gonna have to use like a brown one or a gel or something. I'll, I'll improvise, I'm, I'm good at that stuff now. That's a lot of bro uh, blush, but you know I love it. I always look crazy when I put the blush on and then I look back in videos and there's like full days and I'm like people must think you're crazy like get that off your face got a bit mad okay what can we do let's have a look in the palettes 
Let's go with orange. We know that. Everything's fallen. I keep like, we did watch a scary movie today. We watched the last Insidious. I cannot watch, can I just say something? Horror movies. Am I the only person? I have to have a blanket over my head and I look out of one hole like this. That's literally how I watch them. And I sweat. I was literally like, I am sweating. Jesus, was like, just get out of the cover. I was like, I need it over my head and I need to be able to see like this. And I get so sweaty. Okay, I might try this lace colour here. I, I love this colour, but it comes out more pinky on my face. Oh no, I love Teddy. I love this colour, but it always comes out more like pink on my face. Should I try it with my... Hmm, it looks more of a colour when I did it with my finger. Let me try packing it on. Yeah, it comes out pink. I don't want rose pink on my face. Should I try secret maybe? Again, it's like pink. Does that look pink to you or does it look brown? It looks pink to me. Let's try this. I mean, we're gonna have to go for it now because it's all over my lid. Let's see what lace looks like. Purple. Oh no, I'm not having it, I'm not having it. I don't want that, sorry. Love the glitters in this, but the colors come out like purple. Warm top, let's try that. What do you look like? Hmm, interesting. I like that, it's a bit different. It's not like your warm brown. I know I've just stuck that over the top, but do you know what? We don't have time to redo this. Sometimes you just got to improvise and get on with it. Also, it was my sister that taught me. And this is kind of what I go by these days. Pack it onto your lid and then blend it out. That's literally all we do. I kind of like that colour. It's a bit different. I'm just going to do this really quick and like... And I might try not putting any, any under my eyes. Oh, well, that look a bit crazy. Actually, I am. That's a lie. I definitely am. No way I can't. If it's like really big on the top, I just feel like you need to extend it on the bottom as well. Does everyone agree or am I being crazy? Boom, I quite like that. It's a bit, it's a bit sassy day. Sassy different. Do I look a bit like a zombie though? Like under the eyes. I think I've done it a bit too much under that eye. Do you see how it's like not exactly, it's not like dark brown. I kind of like it, it's a bit quirky. I've never used this colour, I don't think. I always have like my favourites that I just go to. But do you know what? We can step out of our comfort zones, we don't mind. It's in the dark, who cares? Woo, we love the dark. Woo hoo. Just to bring that palette back, because I feel bad about slagging it off, because I actually do love it. The Huda Beauty, Huda, who, Huda. I'm just gonna go into this Crave. And just pop that in the can't wow that's basically like a pigment love that just gonna go into the corners there wow oh i love this mirror as well this makes me look sassy oh the the muted brown is very kind of like kylie jenner vibes it does remind me of her i think i'm gonna keep it like that i think that's quite sexy and fun Again, this is just a quick look, nothing crazy. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to line the line out. What are we gonna use? Right, let's just go in with a black, not black, a brown eyeshadow. Oh, oh, wow, they're getting worse. Wow, I've about done myself this time. These are dreadful. Ooh, okay. Oh no. We can, we're gonna fix it. No one panic just yet. I thought I had 15 minutes left on that and I don't, I don't know why I thought that. Anyways, um, I sorted them monstrosities out. They're just very thick, hopefully the lash will cover it and it'll all look intentional and we'll be fine. And I need to like, I feel like I need to put my head on because this is not giving me like the glam. This is giving me like dinosaur vibes again. I'll show you the ends of my hair are just disgusting like that needs chopping and I want like a good clean cut at the bottom I still want it long I don't want them to cut all the dead stuff off because if they cut all the dead stuff off I'd have a bob 
I need to get some new lashes. I tried Rachel's at the weekend last week. Was it last weekend? Yeah. And they were Tatty Lashes TL3s. Honestly, I was not feeling on makeup because obviously I'd done it with like eyeshadow and weird stuff. As soon as the lashes went on, on, oh my, it was a completely different look. I was just like, wow, why do I now look glam? Like, honestly, it changed the entire look, so I need to get my hands on some of them. So I think that's what I'm going to go for next. <laughs> I'm not going out in a while, like, I don't have any plans at the moment. Obviously, I'm trying to save money for my own birthday, which is in May. And James's birthday, which is in April. We're about five days apart, but we're doing his earlier. So we have time to save money for both of them. So I'm not really going out. So I could save a bit of money, get some nice outfits. Obviously, I've got graduation to save up for as well, so I need to get my nice outfit. But that, yeah, that's everything. I should just use a little one. Let's, let's go fun. This has got eyeshadow on it, so hopefully I don't get eyeshadow up my face. Ooh, let's, let's hit it hard. It's my third part. Is that too much? Boom. What else? Lips, and then I'm done, I think. Pretty much, Anna. My lips are super dry at the moment. So I've got the same liquid lip, and I've just gone with a lighter lip liner, but I don't, don't know if I'm feeling it. I feel like I might want a darker one on. It's quite cute, it's kind of subtle, isn't it? Like, I'm happy with that actually. Let's keep it on, let's keep it like this. Something different. I do need to gloss on them, it's so dry. Okay, so I'm gonna go put my lashes on. Um, put my makeup, oh, I'm gonna put my lashes on, I'm gonna put my outfit on, and then I'll show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm kind of happy of how it's turned out. Still looks quite natural, even though I've got like quite a lot of eye on. Let me show you. The eyelashes aren't quite dry yet. That's why they're a bit white underneath there. This one was being a little nightmare. So I've had to um, redo that one. But here are the eyes. So I've got brown on with a brown wing. Normal makeup, normal not normal lip combo we've got the laura mercier lip liner in the color rosewood which is a lot lighter than the one i normally use and huda beauty venus with my favorite combo which is the kiko number nine lips this is the combo i've got on i kind of like it. it looks quite fresh and cool this is the like casual not really tried out for it just just go along and this is actually a long dress i'm gonna wear the docks Actually, shall I show you with? I'll show you with flash on as well, just so you can see. If I had a ring light, this is what it'd look like. That's a bit too bright, though, isn't it? Let's tone that down a little sec. So here's the look. Show you the eyes again. Quite a muted brown, little shimmer in the corner, and then just the same on the face with a pink cheek. Oops, so that's the end of the video. Um, I do hope you have enjoyed. It's been nice to catch up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another vid.